Gorilla Com going 10-8. What's up guys? Well I wanted to deploy this today but uh, I need to do a few modifications. I ran into a few glitches uh, testing this out on the backyard. Uh, the main glitch was it looks like uh, this radio here uh, there's some radiation leakage here where the radiation is spilling over onto the charge controller, so the charge controller and also the simplex repeater. Uh, it already caused my simplex repeater to kind of glitch on its uh, the program software that I've uh, that I've programmed for my specifications, and I had to wipe it clean and start all over again. On this here, when I transmit on this radio here, or when it starts to repeat, it would glitch this, and actually, depending on the when it feels like it, it'll 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 disconnect the load going to the equipment here so as soon as this thing transmits it, it the power goes off which this is controlled by and and everything powers down and on top of that it'll glitch this over too so it, it's actually that's a common problem where, where you you're working with little HTs here in close proximity with other devices when you have these cables all around like this some of that radiation will just leak over onto the cable and cause the little uh, circuits in there, the, the, the uh, surface mount integrated circuits to kind of glitch because there's a lot of power going into it to sort of, uh, it's like a really, really, really low level EMP without damaging the components. If there was more wattage transmit into this device here, like 50 watts, possibly you'll mess up a circuit but uh, in this case it's just 5 watts coming out of this but it was just enough to cause the devices here to glitch over so that's why I got the uh, this thing all tin foiled wrapped around it's not just for hats anymore you could uh, somewhat shield your equipment with uh, tin, tin foil but what I'm actually using is this uh, uh, duct tape for uh, securing ducts and this is like the more, more efficient uh, mylar sort of uh, metallic covered uh, tape that I use and, and this one here I wrapped it all around the radio including some of the cable here I'm gonna do this here pretty soon and then the circuit board itself the charge controller same thing wrapped it around with that tape and then on top of that wrap it with uh, anti-static bags that would do some sort of shielding against the radiation off the radio here so this won't happen to me again and so there it is I got the uh, power cable and the control cable from the simplex repeater on this side and run underneath on uh, the battery here simplex repeater is on this side and I have the uh, antenna cable on top here so it's somewhat as somewhat separated the, the best I can using the components as a shielding uh, effect to it. So okay, let's stick this up on a roof. I'm not using the solar panels because it's just going to be up here for four days. Uh, today is Tuesday and uh, I'm going to pick this up maybe on Friday or Thursday, one of those two days. And uh, I have it set up to where it's going to give out a general announcement every hour on the hour. So. While I'm not here, uh, this thing will be transmitting, using up some juice to see, you know, further how much, you know, it'll last out there. And this is a small size city, but uh, the average uh, height of uh, structures up here is around 25 to 30 feet. That's the average of building heights around here. This building I'm at right now, probably 30 feet up high. Uh, it's an industrial complex here and this is ready to deploy so let me just uh, test it to see if it's still working yep it's working so I got the high gain antenna this is on GMRS frequencies or radio service in the UHF band and I'm transmitting in the 462 megahertz range 
and I got the antenna tuned to that specific frequency so I'll get the most performance out of the transmitter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive around town, go as far as I can before this thing cuts out. East, west, north and south. And I'll be going through uh, various uh, scenarios, mostly uh, urban and a little bit of uh, countryside or farmland. And now we get to see what the practical ranges of this thing is. Uh, this deployment right here is, is kind of like a security patrol deployment or, or neighborhood watch. Just stick this thing up real quick, do a night shift. When you get done, come back, pick it up, and take it back home. Or whatever scenario you want to play in your heads. So it's pretty much flat around here very flat and I have uh, quite a bit of uh, concrete to go through and you name it so okay let's go for a ride so here's my testing platform here this antenna here is a UHF antenna quarter wave and it's about six inches tall and that's the uh, length for uh, the UHF band 80 centimeters so this is what we're going to use because most of the time you'll be driving in a vehicle with a quarter wavelength antenna unless you have one of those high gain antennas but me personally I'm going low profile so I'm going to use something really small so that's one good advantage of UHF the antenna footprint is uh, much smaller okay guys the GPS tells me I'm 10 miles away from the transmitter That is 10 miles away, due west. Flat ground, I got uh, maybe 20 to 30 feet buildings from here to there, not many, because I was at the edge of town, the, the original location where the portable repeater is. And I, with this little guy right here, I got 10 miles out. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, Okay guys, I'm uh, 4.3 miles away. I'm going to use the mobile to check the, the intensity of the signal and let's see what it is. Intensity check. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I have a general announcement in slot number 0 which I would designate as the as the bulletin board for the whole group of whatever families that are going to be on this system. So that would be uh, transmit the tones. General announcement zero. Testing, testing only. So that's general announcement number zero, uh, which will be like a, an advisory like uh, the place is okay oh we got danger here or and, and it's open to everybody and then you have eight more slots of uh, general announcement for a family so I could put in put in like eight families with their own little general announcement locations but general announcement zero would be like for everyone to listen to announcement zero. Testing. Testing only. that was the hourly announcement for general announcement number zero that I set up so this thing will transmit every hour on the hour for testing purposes so I could use up some juice up on the, on the thing so it's working fine and by the way since I put the shielding on the components you know the radios the cables and everything and stuffed it the way I did I don't have any more issues of it glitching over or doing none of that so that was the cause that power from the radio was was sort of spazzing everything out which is common with these smaller components and and you know not much shielding all right that was heading west let's go east bound okay guys I'm on the west side of town just left town or outside the city and I'm six miles away from the where the transmitter is so here's a test Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. So this is pretty much the limit to where I could reliably get 
communications with an HT. With the truck, I could probably go a little bit farther. Uh, so the effective range from here to, let's say I have this HT here, and then I have another buddy down the road going east, or west rather, uh, the range will be 16 miles using the simplex repeater. Oh yeah guys, and uh, bear in mind the repeater is still 30 feet up from the, uh, from the ground over in that one building. And that building is really not the ideal place to put it. Uh, it would have been nice if, if it was like in some sort of tower situation, but uh, that wasn't going to work. But uh, as you can see, this that hastily put portable repeater gave me a range, HT range, walkie-talkie range of roughly 16 miles. Okay, guys. According to the GPS, I'm 30 miles away from the transmitter. I'm coming in from the uh, east, southeast. And I'm up on the hills. I'm like maybe a thousand feet high. And right there in the middle is uh, the valley floor there. Uh, cutting across, so let's give it a test here. Check two, three, one, four. And that's 30 miles away but I'm overlooking the valley here just a little bit and that's pretty kick-ass I'm transmitting full wattage like 30 watts but the uh, transmitter down in the valley is transmitting 5 but the antenna that it has on there is a high gain antenna and that's making it act like it's transmitting 15 watts alright guys that's pretty kick-ass I'm happy about that We'll test some more. Well, it looks like heading north, I have a range of six miles, just past seven miles. So six miles is where it starts to cut off. So this thing's got an average uh, radius of six miles. Okay, the city test is over, the city range test. Uh, next month, I'm gonna do the backcountry rural test, which is where I'm ultimately gonna place this semi-permanently up in those mountains that you see in front of you. Either this peak or this peak. This is going to be the test peak and it's 5,300 feet high and I can see this from the valley floor. If I can see it from the valley floor, more than likely I could probably reach it with my radios and that'll be awesome if I stick my portable repeater up there. Uh, after I test the system uh, I may place it over here I mean it all depends uh, what this looks like and what kind of performance I get out of these two so I'm gonna start from here and then next year when I it'll be placed here for testing but that's gonna take some time we're talking about a one-year evolution next month is where I'm gonna place the portable repeater up there during the Veterans Day weekend uh, I'm gonna spend a couple of days out there testing out some cold weather gear uh, do a little hammocking, camping, and just make it this a an enjoyable weekend to go up there while I play around with some radios. Now I'm sure I'm gonna get a, a lot better range from this elevation, 5,300 feet, than I did 30 feet from down in the valley. We're gonna see the difference between the two which is gonna be quite dramatic and uh, I'm looking forward to doing that and we'll see what happens. Let's see if it gets stolen as well. But one of the main reasons why I like to put it up there as well is we're heading into the winter month and that ridge up there is going to get covered in snow. Uh, high winds and all sorts of stuff. So that'll be a good test for the equipment to see how well it will fare in adverse weather. Alright guys, Gorilla Com going.